Yesterday, my daddy said I could go to the plumbing store and help him fix the sink because I was acting like a big three-year-old girl. Inside, the store looked like Brother's Mario World video game. The walls were covered with pipes and little metal thingies. The floor looked like the pumpkin in old Mrs. Whippersnapper's garden, and it smelled like dusty shoes. Daddy went up to a short man with a white shirt and a tie, and they started talking. It was so boring. I had to go to the bathroom, but I thought I could hold it. How long could they talk anyway? I was wrong, though, because they just kept talking and talking and talking. Uh-oh. I really needed to go bad. Oh, I tried to get Daddy's attention, but he was too busy talking to the Thai guy about um, um, aqueous aquifers. So I decided to go find the bathroom all by myself. There were so many different twists and turns. The store was humongous. Where could the bathroom be? Then I turned the corner around a display of little rubber umbrellas. And I saw it. It was the prettiest toilet in the whole world. It had little pink and yellow flowers all over it. This was the toilet for a princess. So I did what I needed to do. I was so proud of myself, but it wouldn't flush. I tried and tried and I held down the handle for 24 seconds, just like daddy said. Then daddy and the tie guy came. Daddy wasn't smiling, and his eyes got real big, and he swallowed a lot, and his face was funny red looking. Daddy looked at the Thai guy who was blinking a lot. Had I done something wrong? Was I in trouble? Suddenly, the Thai guy burst out <laughs> laughing. <laughs> I guess this toilet is broken, he said. Thanks for finding out for me. I never would have found it out on my own. He shook my hand, and as dad and I walked out of the store, I felt like a really big girl. <laughs>